Some shaving channels call it mail call. I call it stuff y'all sent me. I got some stuff y'all sent me today. A couple of people sent me some stuff. Yeah, I got something from Terry. I got a uh, care package from Terry. And I got a couple of brushes that I already showed you from Andrew over at AP Shave Company. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, let me just show you what... I put them all in a bag because they were all together. Here's what Terry sent me. I'm not going to show you everything right now. But there you can, get, you can freeze that and you can see. All that stuff is coming up, spread over the next however many shaves it's going to take to, to use it all. i got some razors, some blades, some stuff I'm not going to tell you about, and some other stuff, and some private stuff. Not really. It's not private. I'm just kidding. But uh, what I'm going to use today is this Wilkinson Sword Shave Stick. Thank you, Terry. He put all this stuff together for me, and uh, it's, it's just too generous, and I can't thank you enough. I've never seen... This shaving stick, I've got the palm olive, I've had the Arco, I got this, and there's another one in there. If you didn't see it, you'll see it later. So I'm going to shave with this. Let me take it out of the package here. See? Completely unwrapped. It's got the little plastic doohickey on the bottom. And that is the technical term. It is a doohickey. We all know this. So what I'm going to do is peel off just the top layer. Oh, look at that. It's blue. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and it smells like a like a clean, soapy smell. The other one in there... Smells a little bit more reminiscent of one I've used before and couldn't have hang around. I might give you an idea of which one. Let me just peel this here to show you what I do to get the uh, shave sticks ready. So I'm going to shave with this that Terry sent me. And then I'm going to shave with one of the AP Shave Company brushes. The Badger one. Yeah, I got a synthetic and I got a Badger. I tried out shaving with both of them already. So I can get a good idea. Sorry, let me show you this. I know you want to see it. It's fascinating, fascinating stuff. So there it is, the blue shave stick, the Wilkinson sword. Oh, smells good. Just clean, clean, nice soapy smell. Uh, I'm gonna use Grandpa Grungy just because when I when I do new products, I don't like to throw in three new things because that would be overwhelming. It'd be overwhelming. You just couldn't take it. You, you can't handle it. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yes, the brush. It's soaking. Here it is. It's soaking. This is the, I'm going to have to read it down here, the AP Shave Company 26mm Jealousy SHD2 Band Badger Set 17mm. This is Andrew's perfect or, uh, personal favorite. And so it's the Jealousy. So it's like the, the gel tip. I like the sound of that. It's very soft. So a Super Badger. Super Badger? No, just Band. Badger. Well, SHD? I don't know what the SHD stands for. Andrew, let us know in the comments. I'll have links to to, to AP Shave Company. We're going to soak it down here. We'll let that soak a little bit more. I'm going to put some uh, hot water on my face. Took a shower, did my hair. Need a haircut. And, uh, yeah. Let's get to shaving. All right. The Wilkinson Sword. There it goes. Shave sticks are so cool. Oh, and it goes on blue. It goes on blue. <laughs> uh, that's, you can use that Wilkinson sword if you want to. Wilkinson sword shave stick. It goes on blue. Doesn't tell you much about the product. I have another great idea for anybody that has a business. Another slogan for you. Because remember, you are always the customer. Doesn't mean anything, but sounds real sincere. Okay, there we go. Uh, Terry, thank you, brother. I can't wait to get to all this other stuff. I got a couple of razors he sent me. I mean, this is, you guys don't have to send me stuff, really. <laughs> Just your comments alone is thanks. Now, ooh, weird looking, right? All right. I don't think I've ever lathered, face lathered, with a shave stick with a badger brush. So we're going to use the AP Shave Company. There's its logo on the bottom. I love this one. It's kind of like, uh, kind of vintage looking with that sort of amber color in the black. We're gonna lather this sucker up. See how it does. It's very soft. This is my second time shaving with it, and I've had some good luck I'm getting good lather. I, I uh, face lathered with some. What did I use? I can't remember. One of my other um, shaving soaps, and it worked beautifully. And this was the first natural bristle brush, badger brush, that I ever used that did not shed. It has not shed one hair. It probably will right now because I'm bragging on it. You know how that works. But it is so soft. It doesn't smell funky. Andrew, you're doing a great job. And thank you for sending me those two brushes. I really appreciate it. It gives me something to look forward to. And hopefully it gives you something to watch. So I'm not just shaving with the same four things over and over again. 
And eventually I'll give it all away, unless there's something I just have to keep. But eventually we'll get back into that thing where I shave with a whole bunch of products and then I send them out to you. I still have two packages I haven't sent out because of this whole mess we're in right now. So, yeah, that's going to happen soon, I hope. All right, there we go. We got the Wilkinson. Got Grandpa Grungy with a feather blade set on five. I've been shaving with Grandpa Grungy a lot lately. I don't know why. Kind of simple back to basic kind of stuff, I guess, you know? But I got, like I said, Terry sent me two razors. One of which I've tried before, but it's not exactly the same one I tried, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a clone. And the other one I definitely haven't tried before. I've heard the name. I've heard the manufacturer. You probably saw it when I held up the care package there. But I have never tried it. It's a single-edged razor blade made out of CNC machined aluminum. And it takes a feather blade, a single-edged feather blade. So I'm really excited about that. I might have to do that on Monday. Terry also sent me like so, like a whole grab bag full of different uh, razor blades and other stuff. Two shaving sticks, just so generous. Thank you again, I know I can't keep going on and on, but I just got it. So it's fresh in my mind and I really appreciate it. Now I had a young man ask for a shout out and his name is not, it's like a screen name that you can't really pronounce. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you what it says, and I'm going to pronounce it in my own way. It's uh, L-I-L-G-R-Y-G-S-999. And I'm going to say it's Lil Gary GS-999. So Lil Gary, shout out to you, brother. Young guy just starting off on his shaving path, I'm sure. I don't even know if he's old enough to shave yet, but he's uh, starting to build, you know, put the building blocks down, just learn, you know, before you start. There we go. There's the, I, I didn't even realize that. I just did the first pass. Did you guys notice that? Did you guys even see that? Oh, they, you know, Wilkinson, they make a good shave stick. It's good. It's probably pretty cheap. I should have researched that, how cheap it is. But pretty much all shave sticks are cheap, right? Inexpensive, I should say. All right, here we go. Here's... The AP shave brush again. Going for a second pass. Oh, I'm losing the lather. I might need to do a little of this. You got a lot of lather in there. And if you do like a shave stick, you might not get enough soap to keep going, which is what is happening right now. So let me see. Let me see what I can do. I think this will work. If you're bowl lathering, like I did, I mean, I didn't bowl lather, I face lathered with a normal, uh, with a non-shave stick with this brush, it was beautiful. There we go, just need a little bit more soap. This is the softest badger brush I think I've ever used. And I love that there's no stink. No stink. You don't wanna rub some old smelly badger fur all over your face, do you? That sounds like a bad idea to me. I don't know what that was. All right, second pass. You can tell my hair is getting long because it's starting to flop down over, you know. If I if I stick it up too high, it gives me that Jimmy Neutron. Uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Bob's Big Boy, you know, hairdo, and I don't like that, it's too much. So I just let it kind of flop down, more like, kind of sinks. Hmm. It's good. I'm sweating a little bit. Just did the, uh, just mowed the lawn. Ooh, did you hear that? I heard the scream of a child <laughs> downstairs. Luckily, you, you can tell when you're a father, you can tell a real scream from a I'm playing with my little brother scream. And that was the ladder. Oh, I hear, I hear noises. Cause I, they, they want their cut. If they get on the video, they want their cut from the revenue and I gotta get it to them. The W-2, they haven't turned in their W-9 forms. Uh, I don't even know if that's the right form they're supposed to turn in. I just told them that, you know, what do I look like, the IRS? 
Yeah, we have till what, July to turn that stuff in? Thank you, pandemic. All right. I tell you, man, you don't have to, to buy an expensive shave soap to get a really good shave. And I guarantee this Wilkinson sword, if it's anything like the Arco or the Palm Olive, is cheap as chips, as they say in the UK. There we go, second pass. Feeling smooth. And there's some slickness left behind, so it's not drying me out. That's good. I can go for three. If I need to, I'll put a little bit more soap. Don't need to this time. Because I hit it right on the brush with the last one. Oh, feels good. Silky smooth. You done good. Andrew over there at AP Shave Company, you done good. Links to the to his website will be there down below, as usual. And if you're in the UK or Europe and you need some shaving stuff, go to executive-shaving.co.uk. They have everything. I mean, pretty much everything. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Now I'm hearing dissenting voices. I, I'm hearing an... I'm hearing an argument about the PS4 in the background. Pardon me if you're hearing that too, but uh, just know the, the pain that we're in right now. <laughs> Please try to share my pain, be empathetic, and uh, pray for me. I need your prayers. Whatever God you want to pray to, that'll be fine. Cover all your bases. Make sure we get the right one. All right. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I mean, this is when I need the jazz music in the background. That I had to turn off. Because normally, in normal days, when I do these shaving videos, everybody else is at school and at work, so I don't have to worry about the peanut gallery. But during these days, I have to make sure that I'm going to have the bathroom by myself, I'm going to you know, have enough time to do it, not be rushed, not worry about being rushed and all that stuff, but you know, we all got to adapt. And it seems like we all are. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all aren't as stir crazy as I am. I'm ready for all this to be done. I am so over it. <laughs> I'm still gonna be safe. Not gonna be one of those people running around licking doorknobs, but uh, I'm so over this. And now things are looking up. Businesses are starting to reopen. And like I said before, whether that's a good idea or a bad idea at this time, time will tell. But let's just continue some of our safe practices, shall we? And let's stay shaven. Get a clean shave. If you haven't done it in a while, if you've been going around scruffy, just give yourself a nice clean shave. You'll feel like a hundred bucks. Man, this stuff is good. What a great shade. The brush, the the this, the thing, the the this. Thanks, guys. I mean, I couldn't add the shade without you. I really couldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this. If no one was watching, why would I do that? It'd be insanity. <laughs> but just the fact that you guys are out there watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you know that. It really is an interesting thing to do. <laughs> For me, at least. All right. I have not said what I'm using for aftershave. Have you noticed that? Ah, oh, so smooth, man. That Wilkinson sword is surprisingly good. Here's the box again, so you can see it. The box it comes in. Wow. Mm. Okay. I gotta tell you, I used some of the cold fusion yesterday and the day before. And, uh, you know, you, you splash it in your hands, you splash it on your face, and uh, you. you then if you have to, uh, you know, if you accidentally touch other parts of your body and you forgot that you have this on your hands, you have quite a, an experience. If you can read between the lines and see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Got a little tingle. <laughs> okay, oh, what am I doing? I'm using Osage Rub. Osage Rub. Remember, you are always the customer. Osage Rub. Ooh, ouch. You know, there's something about certain aftershaves that just sting in different ways than others. And Osage Rub has that. It's got a different sting than the Chella Cool. The Chella Cool is just, it's too, it hurts. It hurts me. 
There must be some cellular level thing that reacts with me on, but Osage Rub. Oh, so comforting. It's like comfort food for your face. It's Osage Rub. It's like comfort food for your face. All right, that's enough. What am I, a pitch man? All right, well, anyway, thank you, Terry, for this. All this stuff coming up soon. Thank you, Andrew, over at AP Shave Company for this beautiful Super Badger there. I think Super Badger S in the Jealousy Knot. Good stuff. Well, look how much is left. Look at this. I always do this at the end. Side eye? Side eye. All right. I'm going to go put this in my little uh, shaving cream bank and save it for tomorrow. <laughs> Not really. I don't have anything like that. Okay, everybody. Have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And thanks for your generosity, your support. And leave a comment if you want to. I read them all. All right. See you on Monday. Bye.